area to ski late into the season. But yeah, Ski Bowl, lower down in elevation, usually the first uh, or so resort to a close. But take a look at uh, Mountain Meadows. There's that live view. We are seeing a mix of rain and snow up there, a little warmer with our snow levels at about 7,000 feet. So uh, you may notice that and uh, you won't need that heavy, heavy coat if you're up there this weekend. Uh, but there's a look at the ski report. Every other resort is still open aside from Ski Bowl here. Timberline Meadows and Bachelor on the list there and no new snow in the last uh, uh, 24 hours. Now take a look at Mount Hood snow depth. Timberline Lodge provides really good data here and it goes back decades. So this is the average uh, snow depth in that white line. April tends to be the point in the year where we see our maximum snow depth at about 166 inches. Right now we're at 139 inches as we move our way into April. So about two feet lower than normal, but it hasn't been a bad ski season. We really saw that snow ramping up in January and uh, we saw lots of blasts of snow and it has been real nice up there to go skiing. So we'll still see some nice conditions over the weekend, even with the warmer weather out there, maybe a little sticky on those slopes. And right now seeing some very light snow out towards Mount Hood and instead rain shifting back into the valley here. It's mostly out towards areas of Salem down to Eugene, but we're now seeing some very light uh, rain showers back towards the south parts of the Portland metro area. So watch out for a drizzle, maybe some sprinkles out there that rain tapers down and what we have instead is the formation of thunderstorms developing as we work our way towards the weekend. This large low offshore, lots of cold air, and uh, still some moisture flowing into the state here. So we'll likely develop thunderstorms as we hit the weekend. There's your peak at uh, Saturday and Central Oregon, the real bullseye of potentially some of those severe storms. We've got a marginal chance now for uh, some storms that might have larger hail, damaging winds and also frequent lightning. So we'll keep our eyes on Jefferson, Deschutes County, Klamath, Lake Counties. And again, that'll be an area to watch out for if you do plan to go hiking or adventure out in this region. The best spots to go will be maybe the coastline today and sticking around in Portland if you want to be outside because we'll still see lots of storms out there this weekend. So here's our future cast. We'll time out some of the rain. Notice how those showers taper down. We dry out and a beautiful afternoon evening shaping up in Portland. I think we'll bring back the sunshine and see a nice evening. If you've got plans on the town, we'll keep it dry for you and that rain shifts out the door. However, as we get our way into Saturday, we still have that low spinning offshore and more moisture wrapped back into the state here. So as we begin our Saturday through midday, those thunderstorms might uh, rev up towards the Medford area, maybe Klamath Lake counties, and then we get to uh, the afternoon evening and those thunderstorms move right through the central parts of Oregon. And on the east sides, we'll possibly track some severe storms that might develop in these very unsettled conditions. Right now, I am seeing dry conditions in Portland. I do think much of the rain will stay out of the metro area, but we could see more clouds spreading in and we'll keep our eyes on the radar. But so far, northwest Oregon, the coast valley of the gorge, likely dry, even low 70s. And we'll keep that chance for thunderstorms out in central and eastern Oregon on Saturday. So be aware of that. Something to consider if you do have plans to be outside. Uh, thunderstorms and uh, those unsettled conditions will remain for the eastern sides of the state. So here's your seven day forecast in Portland. We'll keep it mainly dry and warmer too. temperatures hovering in the 60s to low 70s. Beautiful spring weather as we hit the weekend here in the city. All right. Thanks, Kelly. It's